so before I start I'll just go over what I have here so all this is is it's just default uh, mesh made object this one isn't mirror modified because it's asymmetrical but it's just got classic subdivisions at the beginning armature afterwards on here the classic just always have the armature afterwards just so you know but I've just had them all set to zero just to make it quicker the this is there's only like two main meshes I'm working with I've got the clothes that I want to have cloth physics on on one object just for simplicity you supposedly you presumably could have it on the same object if you wanted to but I've just separated it for convenience this is the just the, the underside so I've got this mask modifier here which does nothing but hide oops, the just the shirt I've made just so it doesn't clip but that's not that important anyway because I don't really want to give these cloth physics I'm sort of fine with that and I've given it a rig so there is animations on this so I've just set up a default walking animation so you can see that it's fairly basic but you could also see that this isn't rigged so if I were to go into the rigging and see the, uh, what is rigged on it it only goes to here and then if we check the weights on just get rid of that if I check the weights on this area they've got nothing so if I go to here I can see that it's got the weights on it however if I go to here it doesn't these aren't rigged to any weight group so if I go back and see this doesn't move to any bone so it just stays still and that's one of the uh, the first things you need to have for your uh, cloth physics to work so let's now go to the second step which I think I've already prepared but if if you don't know what uh, pinning is I'll quickly explain it well if if I'm about to add cloth physics to anything if I want specific parts to stay still then I would make a weight group for the pinning so if I go to here and add the actual cloth physics sorry I'm just bringing up a reference I can see that I've got no pinning on anything so if I play this animation now it's just gonna all act as if it was one big cloth segment and just overwrite everything see there just cloth goes under there so uh, one thing that I should mention is that there is a solidify modifier on this jacket just to give it some thickness so you can see it working here if I turn it off then it becomes a single plane mesh I would I would recommend that if you are using a single plane mesh clothes you should probably solidify it just to give it a bit of shading but if you are going to do cloth physics on a solidified modifier make sure that the cloth physics happens before the solidify modifier what that means is that it won't clip through it will mean that all the physics of it will act on the mesh before the solidify modifier is activated so it will, it will already half the amount of verts it's acting on but I'll, I'll uh, leave that on just to demonstrate what it, actually I'll yeah I'll leave it on just to demonstrate now and see what it does but let's go into the pinning group so I did prepare one earlier it is at the bottom I should think yep no physics so let's let's select it and see right so if I go into weight paint everything that I don't want physics will be in red so this is all weight one on all of this bit so if I go to here and add a pinning group and then set it to no physics and stiffness one I should then see that if I play my animation no cloth physics uh, let's yeah so I've got no I've got no cloth physics on the top part but I've got the physics simulation acting and it's doing its thing but let, let's let's see if we can get it so that the mesh underneath will actually affect it 
So for this we need to first give our physics collisions. So you could leave these mostly where they are, but this will just mean that it will have colliding effects on itself, so it won't clip through itself as much. And then if I go onto this mesh, I need to give this collision as well. And you can basically leave this all as it is, and that'll be fine. So let's see. Now that's rendering fairly slowly, but already you can see that because I've got this solidify modifier happening beforehand, it's crossing over these vertices. Look, there's crossover there, we're getting back normals, it's horrible. So let's let's go to the beginning, put this above it, and then see how it looks. So the, th the thing about physics is that it takes a while for it to reset the settings for simulating it. So if it doesn't play at the first, just pull it back and just watch it happen. So here, we can see that not only is it colliding, but it's actually morphing around the areas on the shoes, on the feet and everything, and it's not actually clipping through. Now if I were to render it at some point here, I wouldn't be able to see anything go through it. Looks all fine. And you could obviously increase this by... Yeah, just clip over through there a bit. So you could increase the uh, steps and have it um, be more accurate, or you could uh, take that down a bit just for expedience. So if I give it a subdivision modifier here, it will act on more of those uh, vertices. So let's bring it back. Let's demonstrate it with one just for rendering purposes. So it, it, like it hasn't it hasn't reset the settings. So just drag it back whilst playing. And it should carry on. So here you can see it's deforming to the body. And then this will this will act on if the armature is moved, it will act on if it if the whole object is moved. It will respond to for, force fields, so if you want to put wind on it, it will react to that. And it's generally a lot quicker and better than just uh simulating it with something else or animating it by hand. So if we go back here, you can see that it's it's fairly wavy, I'd probably make it a bit stiffer if it's a coat like this. But there's no real areas of uh, that's a bit broken. But I could uh, it could be fixed with a bit more subdivisions possibly. Or a few more steps. But that's that's about all you need to know. Just for clarity, uh, this this above the waist is completely rigged to the mesh. Uh, to, uh, sorry, completely rigged to the armature. So if you animate it differently, it won't update then. But if you go back, re-simulate, it will. It's just that the cloth physics works on the entire mesh, but it needs to update the armature and the uh, collision in the cloth differently. All right, uh, I've I've somehow forgotten to um, put the collision above the solidify. But yeah, that should be above the cloth. Sorry, there. Yeah, that should probably fix the error it was having with the. Uh, yeah, it kind of starts in it, so that's a bit iffy. But yeah, just if, if if you want that, you can leave it in. If you don't, then you can just take it out. But yeah, that will get you a good starting point, I think. And I'll just let it render and let it run through, just to get a bit more of a demonstration. Yeah, it's not it's not enjoying that area. Anyway, that's about it.